Welcome, I'm Melissa, and today's video is going to be a spring reset. I am getting started on the whole rearranging and filming my plant tour. So you will kind of see me set up our patio area and the front porch today, and I'm going to be cleaning. My goal is to get the dining area. I'm going to take all the plants that are there away. I'm going to clean, and I also want to get the bathroom and bedroom done. The windows in our primary bedroom are literally disgusting. They are so gross, so filthy. So that is my goal for today. I'm gonna to try and get all that done. I might tackle a random repot or something in this video too, because I have several plants in this area that I kind of want to uh, freshen up maybe a bit, but I am ready to get started. I'm gonna crack open an energy drink because I need it. And we are gonna start with rearranging our patio. We are gonna go ahead and crack her open. This is the Alania Z in Cherry Slush. This one is my favorite. It just tastes so good. I can literally suck this thing down in like 10 minutes if I wanted to. It has 200 milligrams of caffeine, which is a lot. It's a lot of caffeine, but I feel like I've been drinking caffeine for so long. When I worked night shift, I needed caffeine. So I feel like 200 is nothing to me, <laughs> but it is a lot of caffeine. I love that sound, it echoed. This flavor is so good. I like to stick this in the freezer for like 10 minutes and then it gets like really, really cold and that first sip is just so crisp. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna set the camera up and we'll get to rearranging our patio and get started here. It feels so good out here. It's not like, it's a little on the chilly side. I honestly want to go get a sweater, but I know I'm going to get hot. Someone is spraying next door, but I feel like they should be done soon. But yeah, I'm going to start uh, rearranging. I'll just put some music on over this. There's still a lot of pollen everywhere, I guess from when I had sprayed, but I wanna get uh, some cleaner and wipe down at least the surfaces. I wanna wipe the, I wanna say desk, it's not desk, table. I wanna wipe the table down and this glass one here down. This section is now cleared. So last year I did one of my Monsteras here, which I'll do the same. And I think I'm gonna do the Bird of Paradise. And anything that I put out here, in the patio, I can go ahead and put directly out here because it's in the shade, there's no direct sun that comes in here and they don't burn. But anything that I put out onto my front porch, like my snake plants are gonna burn, uh, but that's okay. If a leaf or two burns, I'm okay with the hut. I'm gonna try and back them a little bit closer to the door, that way they're more in the shade, but pretty much my entire porch area gets full sun out there but luckily here i don't have to acclimate anything which is kind of nice and the the lows here are now staying i feel like for the most part above mid 50s 60s i feel like it's not going to dip too much lower uh since we are like midway through april so i feel like i'm good last year i put plants out here mid-march and it was a little too early because we had some cold snaps in the 30s so i had to like take them back in a few times so this year i waited a bit longer <laughs>
Ellen. <laughs> this is something new that I got the cats. It's so cute. It's smaller than what I thought, but I got this to replace their other one. That, that other one is like six years old and it's so gross. So I want to replace it with this one. I got this one because it's green and it has these little fake little palm fronds on the top of it. <laughs> It's so cute. I just wished it was a little bigger. I actually bought this off of a TikTok shop. I was just, I don't know, it was my first time buying something from there and it was only like $20 because I guess I had a coupon since I was a first time buyer and I just, yeah, I just never bought anything from there before. But yeah, I just thought it was so cute. <laughs> so we are gonna put this right here, even though it's small, we are going to put it beside our chairs here. Do you like it? Do you like your beds? Huh? Yeah. They're so cute. Now that that is kind of rearranged and wiped down, I'm gonna be working on this section here. I uh, need to check these new plants too and water them. I haven't uh, checked them yet. I just sat them here. I just opened them last night. This is the new Aria that I got and this was a free Monstera Lech, Lech Luriana. I don't know how to pronounce it. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, check their soil and wipe their leaves and everything. Yeah, I'm gonna get my water ready and kind of start separating some plants and I'll be back on. I'm making some progress. So these are the ones that I plan on putting out on our lanai area. We have the Birds of Paradise and then the Ficus Teneki started browning a lot when uh, it was out on the front porch. So I'm gonna put it out on the lanai, I think for the summer, spring season. I think it's still bright enough out there, but I feel like it would enjoy being outside. I actually was going to propagate it, but it decided to branch on its own. It lost several leaves here when I brought it inside for the winter because of lower light levels, but it created this branch here, which is new. And there's actually a little blip here, which it might be creating another little branch. It is pushing some new leaves now that spring is here. So I'm excited to go ahead and get it outside on the lanai. These are the giant monsteras that were stuffed in that corner. This one is my OG one. I did repot this one before I brought it in for the winter season, so it hasn't been that long. And this here is one that I rescued, the one in the middle. It's the biggest one as far as maturity. It's just one vine. And it's getting ready to push a new leaf here. It's very pregnant. That's the newest leaf that's pretty big. I would honestly love to go ahead and combine these and have one big monstera. It would be three vines total. And I'd love to stick that out as one plant out in the lanai. Again, I just don't think I have a pot big enough that's outside right now. I might check and see what's what I have available. But if I can go ahead and quickly just pot them up together, I might do that. I'm gonna go ahead and repot this Birds of Paradise. I found this out in the garage. It's not very much bigger than the existing pot, but it's a little bit bigger. So I'm literally just gonna plop and fill. I know Birds of Paradise are a little sensitive with their roots being messed with, so I'm not taking off old soil or anything. I'm just gonna stick it in here, fill up around. I'll only have like maybe an inch, but it's all that I have and I'd rather just do this. Hopefully you can see, okay. So this has a yellow leaf here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this away. I know this thing is probably so root bound. Yeah, it was swirling on the bottom. So I'm literally just going to plop. So 
to do the least amount of disturbance to this root system. This is my second Birds of Paradise. My first one rotted because of where I had it in the lanai. It, during the rainy season, it kept getting wet and the entire thing rotted out. Because the mix that the plant comes in is too dense. It's not like aerated enough and so it just retained too much moisture, which was really sad. <laughs> We're gonna sprinkle some Osmocote. I would have preferred to go up one more inch, but it's okay. I'll just repot it. I'll see how it grows this spring season, summer season. And if, if I want to upsize it again in the fall, I can, but I just have to go get some bigger planters. Next, I'm gonna use my Castile soap mixture and I put a little bit of rubbing alcohol, just a splash, and then just a microfiber cloth and I'm gonna clean the leaves. It's really going to enjoy being back outside, I feel like. I'm really sad my first one died because I found that one at Ace Hardware and it was so big and it was so beautiful. This one was, I think, from Lowe's. I mean, it was pretty small when I bought it, but it was growing well and then it had caught that weird fungal issue. It's so strange. It's definitely gonna love the humidity outside for sure. Last step is to give her a drink with my cocktail <laughs> nutrient solution. It has everything, silica, the fertilizer, CalMag, it's been pH adjusted, the stress coat, it is all in here. I'm gonna let her finish draining and then I'll work on finding a spot for her outside. And then I think we'll start with the ficus next. Since we don't have to repot the ficus, I might just add a little fresh soil on top and add in some slow release and clean the leaves. Okay. Ficus. I restaked it uh, in the spring too, so I'm gonna get rid of this one, that one's pretty ugly. I'm glad it decided to branch though, on its own. It's amazing, since using silica and beneficials, I have not, I think I talked about this in the live that I did, I have not seen spider mites in my collection in a while, knock on wood, but I'm, I'm wondering if the silica is making my plants more resistant to pests. Um, cause if that's, if that's the case, that would be awesome. I'm going to get rid of that leaf too. Okay. So, and that leaf, I'm just going to add a layer of fresh mix on top and I'm going to sprinkle in some Osmocote. About a tablespoon, because this is an eight inch pot. I 
And I'm adding the slow release because I may not always use my fertilizer water on my outside plants if I'm trying to water quickly out there. So I just wanna make sure it has something to last kind of the next several months. So that's mixed in. Let's add a little fresh on top just to make it look pretty. This one wasn't too thirsty. Uh, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of water just to water in that fertilizer. Not gonna overdo it though. And then next, I'm just going to spray the leaves just to give them a little wipe down. I'm gonna take my shears and notch below a node on the stem down here in a couple spots. I just kind of sliced it on this vine here just to see what happens. It's already activated some up here, but I'm curious if I can get some to grow in down there. All right, I'm gonna find a spot for these outside and then we'll work on the monsteras. This huge pot is technically like a cover planter is what I was using it for. I've had this for a long time. I have no idea where I got it. It has two holes on the bottom. I mean, it is plastic. I probably got this at Lowe's. I have no idea what size this is. It's a huge planter. So what I did with this last year was I sat a monstera in here but you know, it, it was already in its planter. I was just using this as like a cash pot just to, I don't know, cover the nursery pot. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and plant into here. I feel like I overestimated how long this is gonna take. So I don't know, I might have to do the bed. I would love to do the bedroom, clean the windows at least before it gets dark. So even if, I ha even if I can rearrange the dining area like later tonight, as long as I can get the windows clean, which is very doable, then I can worry about decorating a bit later. But my goal is to get at least these areas done today. But yeah, off to it. <laughs> zoomies. What you doing? You got to zoomies? I'm gonna save as much of the soil as I can. Couple mushrooms. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see how this goes. <laughs> this one has not been in here this long, so I feel like, I feel like we should be okay. I've been wanting to combine these into one. I should have just did it last year. I really want to save this pot though. You know, it's actually not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> I think I can get away with this and just fill up around. One leaf casualty so far. Oh yeah, this is so much better. Having two in one, it's gonna save on space too. I have no idea where I'm gonna put, put this thing uh, once they, uh, <laughs> 
have to come back in for winter. I'm gonna adjust the stakes last and redo the vines. I just wanted to get like a good chunk of this kind of in here together. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of these bottom aerials back in here. Okay, now if I can just reach my soil mix, if I can get the base potted up. Honestly, I'm very impressed because I thought it was gonna make a huge disaster. This honestly is not bad. I may not even have enough soil to pot this thing. I think I have a little bit of fox farm left out in the garage, so if I have to use that, I will. Actually, maybe I should to fill in the density of all this. That way um, I can add some of my mix fresh on top. Let me go get it. I don't use fox farm anymore, but I do have a little bit left that I feel like would fill this in nicely. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit of my mix just to add a little aeration in between the layers. And we're gonna add about three, three to four. Well, I'm probably gonna add like four or five tablespoons of Osmocote. It should be able to live in this planter for two to three years. I don't, I don't plan on repotting it any time soon. I'm glad I have this because this is filling in bulk of the space. I am sweating. I am going to fluff and puff the leaves. Try, I'm gonna get some more of like elastic and tie some of the vines up so it's not so out. I'm gonna try and condense it a little bit and wipe the leaves in water. And then I'm gonna give you a final look uh, once I do all that. And uh, yeah, she's gonna look so good. Okay, I brought this huge thing out here. I did move the Birds of Paradise back to the other corner cause this one is pretty big. Uh, I think I am gonna move that bamboo shelf that's in the bedroom out here and I can put some random plants on it, but um, I'm gonna give it just a little bit of a drink here. I already cleaned the leaves and kind of spruced it up a bit. And I have this one on like a rotating uh, stand. So if I, if I have to, I can rotate it out here depending on like how it grows, I can easily move it. Look how big this thing is. That is craziness. <laughs> so this is the top leaf here and then it's getting ready to uh, push a new leaf there. And then there's a new leaf here uh, coming in there. Oh, that just fell off. So I, may, I mainly use this kind of twist tie stuff to tie all the vines up. 
I cut a few of the bottom ones away just so that they weren't like floppy. But I'm very happy with that. I think it'll be fine in that big planter. It'll definitely be able to stay in here for a long time. It only has the two drain holes, but it's fine. At least it has something. I'll just, I'll just make sure to watch my watering with this one over the summer to not like overdo it. But it's gonna grow, it's gonna grow a ton of huge leaves out here. I'll eventually have to get like a taller stake, but I think for now it'll, it'll be good. And I'm happy that it's just one plant now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it takes up a lot of space. And so the bird of paradise is here. And if it gets too much rain in this little spot, I'm gonna move it cause yeah, I don't want it to rot. Cause I had my other one in this corner before that one and it rotted out. So I might have to move the ficus. I'm gonna put it here so that it can get the most light and see how it does. But we'll see, I think it's gonna like that spot though. It's gonna be a lot happier out here versus my front porch just because it was so intense for it. And I severely underwatered it as well. So I think it's gonna do, uh, do very well out here. So I think I'll bring the bamboo shelf out here and then I'll probably end up getting some caladiums, maybe like a bucket or so. And then we're gonna like do our mulching and yard work and everything. So I think for now, I haven't decided what I wanna do with these two. Uh, I'm gonna get this area here cleaned up, but I do wanna repot this as well. So I'll probably get this repotted. Um, I'll pop back on when I get this repotted and then, uh, yeah, you'll kind of see me kind of <laughs> do some random cleaning. I'll put some clips in here of me like cleaning the windows and everything. She's so cute. She uh, decided to get curious. So I got these windows cleaned, the blinds cleaned. I just vacuumed up this window space very roughly. I'm gonna come back to this area later this evening and wipe down the shelf and all that and figure out what I wanna do with these. I'm gonna clean this up.
look how sparkling clean. <laughs> oh gosh, that was a lot of work, but at least the window's clean before it got dark. I didn't want to open the windows. I still have like the other windows to do, the guest bedroom and my plant room, but I'll do those tomorrow. What? Yeah. But yeah, I'll pop back on a bit later and give you an update. Good morning. Well, it's like late morning. <laughs> uh, it's the next day. I'm gonna finish up my spring reset. It has been pouring rain all morning and storming. It's nice though, cause it's like, it's a little humid. It's not overly cold, but it's a little bit chilly. So I'm in a sweater again. I'm sure the Monsteras that I put out here are loving it. Like the breeze and the air and I don't know, just the overall movement of like being outside. I feel like plants like enjoy that. <laughs> as weird as that sounds. So uh, last night I was watering the dining area. I'll show you the progress. Uh, today's plan, I've been editing for a few hours, but uh, I need to get busy on like watering my plant room and the back bedroom. And I'm gonna finish the dining area, get that cleaned up as well as the bedroom. And I need to get the snake plants out front on the porch. I, f I completely forgot about those. So I'm gonna get those out there too. And I'm gonna repot the oxalis and I think the orchid with you all here too and get those taken care of. So I'll take you kind of along for some of that today and we'll kind of get to finishing up this spring reset. But let me show you what I've done so far and then I think we'll tackle the repottings first and then I'll finish rearranging and then moving the snake plants out front. I ended up putting the staghorn out here last night. I was watering it so I hung it back up and I think I'll just let it hang out here. My only concern was that it doesn't really get enough light back here this far away, but I'm gonna see how it goes. I might end up moving it back inside, but I have this, the nail still hung from last like spring, so we'll see. And I put this little bamboo cart out here. I took the top section off because it was too tall. This is an Anthurium that I got imported. It was one that the company sent me, so it's not one that I'm in love with. It kind of looks like a kind of like a palm in a way. <laughs> uh, I just sat it out here for right now because it's too too tall for that shelf in the dining area. It's currently in pond. I don't know if I'm gonna leave it out here, but I'm gonna put the oxalis right here once I repot it. And then I might end up putting like a couple other small plants out here. Look at all that rain that has come in. It's so gross. So kind of coming back inside, I have like a mess to clean up. My husband went home to see his dad. So he's coming back later this evening. So my goal is to at least get like the kitchen and living or the kitchen area and dining area done and the bedroom. I kind of did a lot here last night. Look how much spacious this dining area looks. It's so much more open. I have to add the lights and everything back and I have some extra planters. I'm probably gonna use these two for the snake plants that are gonna go out front and then I'll have a couple extra. I might bring a plant or two out of my plant room and uh, clear up some space. So I might use those for, for those plants. I have this entire bottom row empty now. So I don't know what I'll use that for. And yeah, I kind of rearranged the shelf. I put some of the same plants back here. I feel, I feel like it looks so much better. It doesn't look crowded. I have the moss poles here. So I ended up putting those over here on this side since I didn't really have like any plants in this corner. And then I put my big orbifolia down here. I am gonna be chopping these both of these ones uh, at some point, but I just put them here for now. I chopped my neon pothos last night too. It was just too long. I just chopped all the vines off. So I switched places and put my Jessiana there on the end because that one was hanging up. So I feel like it just looks so much better. It looks more clean. This oxalis is so compacted. I feel bad that I never repotted it yet, but it's definitely appreciated the drink. It's still very flat though. But let's repot her really quick. And we're gonna repot the orchid. I'm just gonna do this right here quickly. I'm just gonna use my Aeroid mix. It's all that I have made up, so I'm just gonna use that. So 
Since this is so compacted, I would really like to, I still have the tag. I would really like to get some of this away. I would prefer to use a more dense mix that retains a little bit more moisture, but I don't really have anything right now. I could throw some more tree fern in here because I do have more tree fern, but okay. I don't really want to stress this plant. I'm just going to fill up around. I feel like just having a bigger pot will retain moisture longer. I'm going up to an eight inch because it was in, this is probably a five inch, so a couple inches bigger. This might be actually a six inch, so it'll appreciate that, I feel like. Uh-oh, we lost a stem. I'm hoping it kind of fans out more. I feel like it's just in one big clump right now. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and give her another drink cause she definitely needs it. I'm sure as more kind of grow in, it'll fill out the pot, but right now it just kind of looks a little, a little weird because <laughs> it's gonna have to like grow towards the light and everything, but it'll fill out here in some time. I'm hoping it looks a little better in a couple days though. I'm gonna have to make more water. All the water that I made up yesterday is gone. I was watering a few plants last night in my plant room and I like used all the water so quickly especially for my moss poles. Okay, she has been upsized. She should grow a lot more happy, at least for this season. It is orchid repotting time. So I grabbed a scoop of the perlite, cocoa chips, and sphagnum moss. This is what I use for my shot plants. So I'm gonna use this. I've created a mess over here. I didn't want to make a mess. <laughs> uh, shoot. I set this here. I have a five inch pot for the orchid. So the orchid, we have two leaves here that are yellowing. This one is yellowing and this one is yellowing. I'm gonna go ahead and pull those off to kind of rehab this plant. Yeah, water culture just was not working for this thing. We kind of have a moldy root there. Ew, I'm gonna cut that off. Okay, this poor orchid. So we don't really have any, hardly any root system, but I'm gonna go ahead and pot it up into our mixture and hopefully it'll come back. I actually might sit this orchid in the east window here because I feel like it would appreciate that. So I'm gonna use this mixture and I'm gonna throw just a little uh, bit of my aeroid mix in just to kind of add a little bit of a little bit more aeration. That's gonna be kind of a mixture of the two. So it's kind of looking oh, like that. Let me bend you down a little bit more. There we go.
Oh yeah, it's gonna be a lot happier in here. Super aerated and then it has the moss and cocoa chips and everything for some moisture retention. I wanted to check in and give you a little bit of an update. I've kind of been working all day. I haven't really been like on the vlog. I sort of have this entire section done. The only thing that I have left to do is I really want to get those moved to stratum and I need to go through this bin of Hoya and get these in stratum. So I might work on that later or tomorrow morning. You guys saw that I repotted the orchid and I moved the air plant here. And then I moved my other air, air plant that was on top of my Ikea cabinet. I felt like I couldn't really see it that much and I kind of like it better out here. So this section is pretty much done. The bottom shelf is still empty, so I might move a couple plants out here that were in my plant room. But for the most part, it's so like open and I like this space so much better. And the windows are all clean. Everything's wiped off. Everything is vacuumed. It looks so nice out here. Moving to the front door, I completely cleaned and tidied this. I dusted, I wiped everything off. The snake plants that were here, I actually went ahead and moved outside. And this money tree was actually sitting right up there. And this money tree I've had for, this is probably the third year with it. And it's slowly declining. I feel like it just wasn't getting enough light. There's some light that comes in through that window, but it's not enough. It is very dark. So now that the snake plants are outside, I think for the summer, spring and summer, I feel like the money tree under this light is really going to take off and start growing better. So I moved it here and I think this is the only plant that I'll put in the entryway because I don't want to like overcrowd the entryway. So I'm going to see how this one does here. Uh, if I change my mind, I might be tempted to put this one outside and something else that's in my plant room here. But for right now, I think I'm just going to leave kind of this set up here. But yeah, it was just nice to vacuum and dust everything and clean. What'd you see, Chai? <laughs> I'll just give you a little peek out here. I put my big whale fin pot and then my two snake plants. And then I put something else in the other corner, but... I am going to be doing my full plant tour soon, but you'll see that. These guys will burn a little bit, but at least they're out here and everything is kind of sprayed and watered. So I did like fertilize them and um, hose their leaves and everything off, but I'm just going to leave them out there until, yeah, all summer. And moving back to this space, I think what took a while was I manicured and cleaned like the entire bedroom, you know, you guys saw that I cleaned the windows, I dusted in here, vacuumed, kind of did a spring clean. These Hoyas here have mealy, so this is like a quarantine zone. I kind of reconfigured the bamboo stand, so I separated them. I took each one of these to the tub and sprayed them with horticultural oil really well. And I'm gonna do that weekly until hopefully the mealies are gone. But I added a grow light down here and then I moved the lamp closer to this side so that these Hoyas could get more light. Because again, this is like all north facing, so it's minimal light. And I scooted this over a little bit. I have four Maranta here. I have one grow light here that's shining on this one. So these two are kind of more so in the shade. So I'll have to see how they grow because these guys were under this light, which is a little bit more light for them so i do have other cl clip lights so i could add another one and shine it on these so i might end up doing that though but yeah i took them all to the shower i sprayed them all with castile soap gave them a good drink with fertilizer cleaned their leaves so <laughs> uh, we are ready for the tour for this part of the room and then the last thing that i did uh, i completely cleaned and wiped this entire section of our bathroom i took all the plants down I had so many dead Marant to leave, so I gave all these a good drink. I sprayed their leaves with Castile soap. I watered them. So this entire section here is nice and clean, which I feel good about. So yeah, it was a lot of work. I feel like I have a lot to do still though. I kind of moved my mess that was in the kitchen because I was using the kitchen. <laughs> 
but I got that all cleaned and everything, so that's not cluttered. So I'm kind of moving back down this way. I have a table here full of random crap, and then I haven't even started in my plant room, so I'm gonna spend the evening in my plant room. I need to water in here and wipe down. I don't think my plant room is that messy, honestly, so I feel like I can get through my plant room pretty quickly. I'm gonna wipe my cabinet down and vacuum in here, mop the floor, and just make sure everybody is watered. Everything is overgrown, so that's okay. I feel like for the tour, it doesn't really matter that much. Sorry if that's blinding you. But yeah, I just have to water my poles. I think they're the, the most dry in here. I gotta clean this bathroom. It is hideous. There is so much crap in here. I'm gonna do this next because I need to check on all these props. I'm gonna water everyone in here that needs water. I'm gonna set my outlet timer up and my other boxes. And for the most part, I feel like this will be pretty good for the tour. I just have to kind of reorganize and just kind of tidy this up a bit. But I really hope you enjoyed this. I hope this motivated you to maybe do some spring cleaning. And it just feels so good to kind of go into spring kind of ahead. I just feel nice that I've cleaned and organized and taken care of some plants. So stay tuned for the houseplant tour. That will be probably after this video. And I'm excited to show all the plants in my collection. So I really hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you here soon.